Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while, poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Leanne Rorapal from On the Cusp of a Dangerous Year, published by Southern Illinois Press in 2009. Um, this is about midway through the collection. Uh, these poems are really, um, well, so most of them are fairly long, actually, and... Uh, and surprisingly dense in detail, um, rich in, in sort of lyric moment. Um, and I think the surprise for me really is how much uh, she packs into each poem um, and, uh, and at the same time creates these, these moments that leave us wanting more. This is, uh, this is a longer poem entitled, Things That Leave an Aching Feeling Inside. The flittering plop of moths bumping up against the ceiling late at night and the shadowed mosaic outlines of their bodies littering the ceiling's light's bright glass bowl. Round, triangular, wings filtering gold-hot light like tiny black singed hearts. I think of the one tangled in my hair the day before, a buzzing blur, how it rested in the palm of my hand using a foreleg to pull down one delicately slender antenna and clean it with rhythmic sweeping strokes. The breathy rush of, a wind, of wind during late November storms specked with flecks of sleet, making the trees roll and heave and sigh against a queasy sky where an orange moon wobbles in and out of the clouds, greasy and slick as egg yolk. Returning from the airport to empty rooms, it makes me think of the lover who always came to meet me right at the gate and stopped on the way home for drive through tacos. The razor quick slit of stun clarity so sharp I can't tell how deep it sliced when I finally admit to myself that I've fallen out of love. Knowing there is a part of me that quietly waits for this cut, for the piercing sting of silver, for the red, salty tug of relief to bloom in warm, tulip-bright areolas, like watching the wilted body of my red-capped oranda twirl like a twisting shimmer of silk scrap caught in a wind funnel when I flush it down the toilet. A cat who mourns another cat, whose name in Japanese meant cloud, spending the entire day obsessively searching for him, room by room. So much falls away, our skin slipping off our shoulders to coat our houses in a fine layer of dust, while dust mites expectantly stand and wait, ravenous to consume our past, the selves we have lost and continue to lose along the way, until all we have is what we have left to inventory. There are moths to sweep up off the floor, bookshelves to dust. There was a woman who did not know how to let go. And finally, there was the silvered, merciful flash of the veterinarian's needle. Now there is a cat who plaintively wanders the house and will not eat. There is a woman sitting in silent rooms who is eating drive through tacos by herself, listening to the soft ticking of the clock like a metronome marking time without the music. Um, and that was Leanne Rorpau and Things That Leave an Aching Feeling Inside. Um, I hope you enjoyed this poem and this particular reading. Um, please, uh, if, if you did, please uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, comment below if there are uh, things that you particularly liked about this reading or the poem. Um, please check the description. There will be links to the author and to, the, uh, to where to purchase the book. Um, and, uh, if you enjoy these readings in general, please subscribe to this, uh, to this video series, to this YouTube channel, and, uh, check back often. There's new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, and I'll continue to do that. Uh, we are, um, getting closer to our 100 video mark, um, at which point, um, we will probably start to diversify and add a few other features. Continue to read poetry, but I might uh, throw in a vlog or two or, um, or go back to discussing translation a little bit. Um, other, other ideas that come to mind. Um, and if you have suggestions for things you'd like me to include in the channel, please feel free to let me know. Um, if you're an author with a book coming out, um, a book of poetry, please uh, contact me and perhaps we can work something out where 
um, I can read something and feature your book in this series as well. Um, in general, please be safe, please be good, um, and do what you can to continue the, the work of poetry, um, the work of language, and building bridges and, uh, and speaking power. Um, uh, speaking truth to power and using your language as a power for good. Um, until next time, um, I'm Neil, and uh, this is Hermit Poetry Reading Series, and we'll be back again soon. Bye.